unless RJ joins uh, us, but you know. Um, real quick one on Mel, and will probably not join us again for really soon. She was out of hospital. She's now back in hospital. Uh, fun. Yeah. We were all expecting her to be out by beginning of the beginning of October. Uh, probably going to be closer to like fucking December now. Oh, something about the word something about the word hospitals in the Netherlands don't really mesh well. What? 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 <laughs> Netherlands act to, like they they probably have better health care than the UK. Yes, we do absolutely. I heard I heard that it was pretty bad. No, what? No, oh, you're European. European you, I've ever had in the Netherlands. European healthcare is considerably better than American healthcare. For example, <laughs> if you get shot in the UK or the the EU, and you go to hospital, it probably looking at about a hundred euros in the Netherlands, and you know, completely free in the UK. Um, whereas in America. Well, you might as well tell them to take you back in and start harvesting organs. Yeah. And they will yeah. charge you per stitch. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, the Netherlands is, is, is actually pretty fucking good. Oh, God. I think he was referencing a joke or, like, a war crime that happened, maybe, like, in the 19 earliers. I'm not what? sure. What? I don't know. Only you know about that. I don't know what you're talking about. What? <laughs> the way know. you said it. Oi. Anyway. What is wrong? What, what is wrong with Dutch hospitals? We have. We're clearly all mentally insane here. Let's be honest. So, as we were last here, a party had done some digging around this particular area for a gnome man that they know. This particular, uh, not gnome man, dwarvish man. He was a, a yo chief. Um, having some issues, hoping you can help out, and part of her like, sure, we'll do it for magic items, and he's like, I have a secret stash of magic items, you do this, you do some other stuff, you get magic items, the party was like, here we, here we, here we fucking go, and proceeded to head to this little place, uh, Blue Maw Cave, it was called, they were yes. all like, right, cool, they met some dwarves, and I'm like, these guys are pretty cool, these guys are pretty chill, they got some issues, We'll solve them. Now check out my beat whilst my DJ records it. Uh, they fucked them up, killed the Greeks, killed the things. Found uh, 1,200 copper coins, 8,000 silver, 2,300 gold, 66 platinum, 12 gems, a, bl a bronze chalice, and uh, I managed to get like D&D &D Beyond to do shit. A box with cards. Fucking... Oh, it's going to my VTT. I'm a fucking idiot. Mm -hmm. I'm one of these. Oh my. It looks a lot nicer when I can actually use like D&D &D Beyond to do shit. <laughs> I'll be honest. And I've got the laptop here to help. And so, with it, the party, you guys, Ne pyro, ne party, well, I took some time here, for some of you it was definitely classed as a short rest. Uh, I do not know what you're concentrating on, but we will remove that concentration, because I know straight a combat will occur at some point and we'll be like, why are you concentrating? You're not concentrating. Tipler also managed to get himself one of these, which is fan dabby dabba. And hey so, we end up here. In the cave, after a period of time. I guess mm. for this moment in time, I am Clifton. Mm-hmm. Funniest thing about Clifton, doesn't have identify. Uh, I suppose, while they're <clears throat> looking over everything and dividing things up, I'm not sure if we're waiting to divide up the money until... Um... Everyone's here for a session or not. But either way, he would look at the uh, items. As you know, uh, Exus can't help but like put on bangles or gold masks they find. 
seeming to just love to adorn himself in jewelry and the night. And you would look at the box, you would and says that you you said the pit was the picture of the box or the cards in the box. Like the box looks rather The box looks like the cards. Um I suppose for best terminology would be if we look at say this deck of cards here, how they've got this nice designed pattern. And then on the back it's a very similar pattern. Alright, so it is like a what material is it? Is it like uh cardboard or is it like metal wood? Um the craftsmanship. I would go ahead and say, judging by the photo that I have now diminished away, I would go ahead and say that that is a a wooden box, but with actual cards inside. Hmm. All right. You look at it. Look at how ornate this is. So this was taken great time into. I wonder why it was down here. Maybe we're still the way. Maybe there's a demon god inside. A demon god. <laughs> what are the chances of that happening again? Uh, we currently have one kind of running rampant among the um, the island, trying to take it over. Just a little box. Mm. Uh, yeah. You gotta pick it up. He doesn't know what it is, so there's no reason that he wouldn't play with it like everything else. Does, you it have like a hinge? Does it have like a what? A hinge that opens it? Like a wooden hinge? Uh, not so much a hinge, but it's more like a matchbox where if you hold it like this mm. and you were to push. It would slot. I hope that came through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. sorry about that. I was right. uh, being quiet because I felt bad about interrupting. <laughs> no, no. Uh, the thing like a matchbox design just. <laughs> right, you slide it open. As you slide it open. I was so tempted to make a sexual joke there, but I won't. I will restrain myself for a change. Hey, you yo, restrain yourself? Yeah, I know, it's not SM week. <laughs> uh as you open it up you do see more cards that look very similar to that one. Hmm. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just going <coughs> to pull up the image again. Hopefully. There we go. Boom. Words of Charlie XCX. Boom clap. I'm so scared right now. <laughs> you know why I'm so scared? Because I know what... Okay, so these clearly look magical, right? Yeah, as you do open it up, they do right. seem to give off that light and like almost... I want to say smoke, but also like steam. They are very cold to the touch. Mm. And cards themselves are more like <coughs> more like thin plates of aluminium. Sorry, aluminum. <coughs> what, what what the fuck is it? Aluminium? Anyway. <laughs> what the fuck is the he's like he's like, whoa guys. He's like, he opens up the, he, so he has the box open and the smoke and light comes out and then he closes the box and then he opens it again really fast and does it like back and forth a few times. <laughs> just push you, you just see like smoke, he's like, this thing's awesome, I think it's like enchanted with illusion or something and then you keep on, like, this is pretty cool. And then you keep, like, <laughs> just like, uh, Faye's just like, let's, uh, let's see what they do. And he's I, gonna reach out. Ooh. Ooh, I wonder that. I wonder if you flip the card over and it has like a illusion of what's on the card. <clears throat> you gotta the do it is to find out. I say reach out because I, I say reach out because I don't know whether you want to stop me from doing that or not. I feel like they would probably both draw one at the same time. Whoever draws one first is probably up in the air. But sure, the idea that know. the others. I don't know. Both take a slight step 
back. You know, having having experience with magic, knowing, you know, feeling the feeling the 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 the, the weave through the through the cards, knowing yeah. that shit can go down. It's better to not be bunched up. So they they both have this slight feeling and they they make eye contact and like understand like hey we're both having the same idea and and back off of the group a little bit just just to be wary of course as you pull these out you hold both of you in your hands two cards cold sharp but definitely Beaming with magic. <clears throat> I'm looking at sheets right now. He looks to Van and says, I can. Do you feel that? I mean, I feel like this car is cold. That's pretty much it. This thing's chilly. Feel the power from this thing. If they uh, kind of squints a little bit, mm -hmm. you're more magically aligned than me. I, mean, I don't know. Is that what magic power feels like? I, I don't know <laughs> what this will do. Or if anything, we might need to attune to it. <clears throat> Both of you just look at the cards that you hold in your hand. Um, the symbols on them don't seem to mean anything to you. But mm. as you know, you just look at it, and this Clifton looks at it. Is it? Oh, that's Cure Wounds, and that's that's Bane. Well, these are spells. We know. We know uh, I'm gonna put the. I'm gonna put the card back. You know, I say they can just hand it over to Clifton. He knows more about it. Clifton starts to take it and rummage through them all. And Bernard looks over as well. They both agree that certain cards are like certain spells. Sorry guys, it is not what you thought it was this entire week. <laughs> <laughs> I, knew, no, I knew it wouldn't be this because you're a rat. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is in fact a... I, I want to make sure I get the right one because I'm not going to get the wrong one out there. This is in fact a... that. Said chat. <laughs> a... Fate Dealer's Deck. Uh, describing inner planes, but I don't know about the planes because so I didn't get planescaped, so fuck that one. Holy symbols and various deities. Motherfucker, we call in that spells. Uh, is essentially just something that gives uh, clerics and paladins, whoever attunes to it, a plus one to spell save and DCs. <coughs> Because paladins, paladins don't get enough, and neither do clerics. Ooh. Like I said, there's a lot of fun magic items in this book, and I plan to give a few out between over three fucking games. Alright, uh, since we got what we wanted from down here, I think we should head back and um, tell Guy, and then we finish the job and collect. Let, let's talk to the dwarves. <clears throat> Bane's gonna start plumbing back up these sheer cliffs. It's just get her off rope there, fuck. Oh my fucking! I'm hearing the music coming from you, but not me. What the fuck? Yeah, definitely on my side. Yeah, apologies. Music may get a bit loud for you, um, but it's it's fucking gone for me. <laughs> like, whoo! What was that? Gone, reduced to atoms. 
equal balance as all things should be, all that jazz. I've hurt you, little one, but it's okay. We had this discussion earlier on. Yeah. I'm gonna say, without any, you know, without any issues or such, you so make your way back up and through to the little dwarven clans. As you get back to Gracia, I believe I gave her name. If I didn't, congratulations, her name is Gracia. You learnt that one today. Woo. She kind of looks. <clears throat> uh, have you done it? <clears throat> They're all uh, dealt with. Oh, nice. That's amazing, that. Is. Uh, hey, wait. Thank you very, very much. And just for all yourselves, just the, the niceties of it. We've oh, clubbed in and got you this, and it's a very small sack of coin. She doesn't want to collect. How, how much does she give us? A uh, platinum each. A platinum each? Okay. Yep. So that's six platinum. Do we just add that to the, uh, the pool we already have? So it makes yeah, let's, let's do that. Be seventy-two platinum in the uh, part of the thing. Well, thank you kindly. Um, yeah, oh. didn't have to, but we're more than happy to help. I'll pass on, Martin. You are always welcome here with <coughs> Megan. Okay. Um, let me turn this down. Turn it down on your side, sir. <laughs> I have a fan copy that's level 6. The fuck? Don't know where that came from. Probably took it for Ooh. something. Fane, you're currently level 6. Ah, you're like, okay, that's, that was you before the fighter levels. Cool. Yeah. <clears throat> As you head on out into the great beyond. Uh, can I ask for a d10? Mm-hmm. Woo! You're just like fucking right there on speed. Yeah. From your time in and out of this area. You reckon you spent a good night in here? I thought you've been realising. As you just come out, you see that the area is thick with muck-like sand and the canyons are once more filled with water and wash. The area itself is rather frigid as your breath lingers in the air longer than it normally does. <coughs> yeah. As you head on out. I make the assumption that once again this is at a fast pace. Yeah, sure, we can do that. I'm gonna ask for a D20. Mm -mm -mm. D20. It's your time towards the wash. Yeah. Headed back to Hearts Hollow. It's quiet, boring, and completely uneventful once more. Jesus fucking Christ. Love that. <laughs> Who need random encounters anyway? Just, whenever you roll, it's always like the best potential outcomes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back. What did I miss? Nothing. <laughs> sure. Pause we made our way back because I'm a god at rolling loot levels, apparently. What happened? You missed this loot? No, uh, I, think loot I think we gotta kick the loot. I Rand think we gotta kick the loot out. No. Random encounter table and just like rolling nothing but the best and the worst. Yep. As you 
or passing through with no issues whatsoever because that's just kind of how things are and I'm really confused as to how you're doing it and I feel it's rigged and I'm going to be honest with you, you really tempted my patience, I'm going to throw you out soon. Use end up back in Hearts Hollow. Uh, how many days travel is this away because my hit dice thing? You get a long rest. There's been like a days long. There's like an a long rest between it. So yeah, y'all get Heart. long rests. Um, I'm gonna be not Renard for a long rest. Can we have Renard attuned to that Fate Dealer's deck? Renard. I'm sorry, it's Clifton. Uh, John, so I've already spoken with John in regards to what he wants. So. Uh, the issue comes, I need to make this an item. Give me... Um. Ugh. Oh god, because of my uneven level, I only regain three hit dice per day. <laughs> what does Zinc do again? Zinc? Um. Yeah. Immune support. Among other things. Okay, because I have um, uh, something called L Arginine that I have to take, and my vitamin and my vitamin D didn't come in. So I really hope it's okay for me to be taking like these vitamins back to back like this. I don't think you can really fuck up vitamins too much. Because I mean, I said, <clears throat> you will just take some whatever you don't need. Yeah, it says just like two of each. And I know, like, if you take too many vitamins, like, it could, like, mess up your kidneys. Yes. But well, like, I, I, drink a bottle. I drink two cans of Monster a day, and that's, like, a hundred percent of, like, your, like, a shit. Hundred percent of everything in one can. Like, you just end up pissing like a racehorse. Yeah. Mm. I mean, just drink water because I can feel like pills stuck in my throat. I take, I drink them. Uh, nah, you're all talking, mate. You're all talking. The the only thing that would like cause it issues if you do it a metric ton, then it might like fuck up your your filter organs. For the rest <clears> and then you would. Nah, yeah, I'm just doing two zinc, two uh, L arginine, and two vitamin D mm -hmm. each morning, and then getting on my way. Mm -hmm. Vitamin D's nuts. Uh, Did I order vitamin D? One second, let I'll me I'll show check. myself out. Alright, so bye. Mm. I'm gonna hopefully have this go for ya boy Clifton working very well, very quickly. Open image a new tab. Cool, cool. Uh, boom, boom, bang. Boom, clap, sound of my heart. The beat goes on and on and on and on and on. What does vitamin K do? Yeah, fuck those. Uh, let me take a spell for Clifton that has a spell save. Mm. I can actually just look at a spell save on his sheet. Give me a sec. Uh, 14. Always helps when we equip the item, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. 15. There we yeah, go. My vitamin, my vitamin D is coming today. Okay. So. Why well, didn't you come with the other ones? I'll add the detail to sheep. Yeah. Okay. I'm getting good at making magic items here, apparently. <laughs> you are? Oh my god. Yeah. I can. I'm getting there quicker, faster, all the better, faster, stronger. That that that. Don't kill me. Can oh my we, god! Can, I love that for you. Can we still sing Kanye West songs? No. <laughs> no. Oh. no. I'm a false star. Right, so I, I guess I'm in trouble. Cancel school. No, nah, but uh, I feel like Kanye West did all that mess, like all like the anti-Semitism. Uh, I don't know how to say that word right now, but he, yeah, he uh, he did all that in order to ruin Kim's business because he's tied in with Adidas as well, and like Yeezy. He gave he gave her half of that contract as like a present. And now that they've broken up and they doing whatever they want. Take in mind, he did he all this like stuff that he did happened after him and Kim broke up. 
So I'm thinking he's doing all this being bitter and to like ruin Kim. Because Kanye is a household name. You're, you really can't stop Kanye fans from being Kanye fans. My friend, have you heard of the have you heard of this one weird TV show called Keeping Up with the Kardashians? I have, <laughs> I have. Yeah. As you Kelly Jenner is, you know, arguably the best looking one out of the lot. Um, a can of Pepsi says otherwise, but as we enter back into Hearts Hollow, the area is quaint quiet and overall still I've closed the paused the wrong musics. Still the army not here yet. Yeah. It's populated but yeah. Sparsely, but you do see around the outskirts there is the army encampment tents. There are a few army members in the Hearts Hollow. Not so much Acting as a military, but definitely acting as a not occupying force, but acting more like tourists. You can tell the well, business um, is picking up a little. Who's in charge of this army? Yeah, homeboy Darrett. Okay. And they were sent out just to aid us. Pretty much. How many people are in this army? Mm, about a hundred. Okay. Gotcha. Oh, I posted something to chat that I sh has no purpose just other go. than lore. Just go, hey Derek, can you um, can you have? The people in the army line up in like one straight, straight line. Are you making a peasant cannon? <laughs> <laughs> Luna over here, like I've I've heard of that. Like it's theoretically possible on paper, but <laughs> only a madman would attempt. To <laughs> no, I would not. I have an eight intelligence. Just God, if you don't understand, a round in D and D. Uh, a turn in D&D &D is <laughs> three seconds? Six seconds. Six seconds. Six seconds. Six seconds. And, you can use and if everybody, and if everybody in the everybody in the line ready in action to take the item that I give them and just push it down the line, it would get from the first person to the last person in six seconds. Do you know how fast that is? No. Nah. It's about <laughs> six seconds. That's, that's, that's really fast. However, counterpoint. No. <laughs> Counter <-shot. Hello. laughs> the DM's Scottish, Scottish, listen, no. listen, listen, listen. You have the rule. You have the rule of cool it. I rule of cool a lot of shit for you. <laughs> <laughs> I do. <laughs> I look at some of the bullshit <laughs> user code and go. <clears throat> oh, mechanically it works. Mechanically, mechanically it works. <laughs> I don't want to, but mechanically it fucking works, doesn't it? You've exploited the rules in your favour. And if you have something never... sailing at you, if you have something sailing at you at like more than 600 miles per hour, it, it might do something to you. I don't know what, but it's I mean, definitely not a D4. Like, at what, at what point <clears throat> does... Breaking the sun barrier cause like to kill the last people of the peasant cannon. So uh -huh. Having a, a item moving at a, a supersonic speed through their hands. All right, but hear me out. Wind resistance. Wind resistance. True. Um, just make it a sharp object. Drag. Give it tail flaps. <laughs> 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 What's that other thing called? Co coalition point. Uh, other aerodynamic words. <laughs> we just have to make the object that they're handing to each other very aerodynamic. I mean, a spear is basically just a long bullet. Hmm. I mean, one could argue it's a missile, but sure. 
We can fire yeah, a dragon yeah, 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 but like, like missile it's, bullet, it's but shaped like long bullet, so it should be very like dra have a really good drag coefficient in the very well, Drag coefficient, that's the one I was looking for. Why do I feel like everything I'm saying is going to be exploited in the future? <laughs> <laughs> Never. No, nah, it's just, it's just a joke. I'm not, I'm not planning on actually doing. That. Nah, bro, I'm sus now. I'm actually gonna <laughs> jump off of here. I've used proper spells to make my terminal velocity, maybe so I don't splatter on impact. Yeah, that oh. is better, Paul. That only lasts for like a minute, but ooh, anyway. We all make our way back into Hearts Hollow. The guards are making their ways around. The area is busier than normal, given the Calaman guards, but everybody is all happy. There doesn't seem to be any issues right now. What do you wish to do? You have the whole day uh, ahead of you. Dude, gotta go talk to, you. Yeah, gotta go talk to this guy. Him. Yeah, let's talk to this guy. He said he had magic items for us. It's you. Right them to the shop. Ah, oh, what's this motherfucker's name again? He's a uh, shopkeeper number five. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Little bit of humor. Uh, 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 uh. Realize, um, me and John are the only ones that will get that. Start you reading the books. Mambo number five. You yeah, piece but of humor. Shit. <laughs> you wouldn't understand Mambo number five. No, no. The names, a little bit of humor in my life, a little bit of task well, off, yeah, I'm alright. <laughs> but like, would require reading the book. The Mambo number five is a different story. Although, I suppose a little bit of Tiamat in my life. Da -da -da. It's actually a bad thing. <laughs> yeah. Does, does Tiamat have a human form? Shapeshifter, probably. Mm hmm. But yeah, he's being a shapeshifter. Like, oh, so technically, if I played a bard. Alright, let's, let's get back to the game. I want to say one last thing. Tiamat's human form, however sexy you may think it is, probably has like eight different heads. That's fine. I mean, it's <laughs> okay. Like great orgies. Okay, alright, alright, alright. All right. That was enough. I didn't think this would happen. <laughs> Ribby. Smash or pass? Smash. Smash. It's just the armor. Yeah. That's that's this world's Tiamat. So, you know. Oh, yeah. Alright. Smash. That's fair. <laughs> that's I, should, I, should, uh, I should have played a ridiculously high spec bard. <laughs> I feel like. <laughs> College of Eloquence. I feel like Mel we would all die the, uh, 10 feet of this person, though. 20 charisma. So, I, was like, I was like almost there. I was in between bard and monk. Yeah, as we make our way to the little shop, as the man kind of looks up once more, whose name is Grandit. Oh, we all, we almost get back soon. Ah. Get back soon. Did you? Yeah. Did you do we that? jobs fast. See that? See. Rather peculiar talent. Oh, it is. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh yeah, we do have a blessing from a god that makes us tra tra I'm sorry, traverse faster. I'll probably do it. Yeah. Oh, so don't tell him. Shit. Some of us are. <clears throat> yeah. Uh... Some of us, not so much. I'm gonna look at Exodus. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I could kill I mean, shapes around you. I could kill me, shapes. Me and Radar last fight were like one hit, one hit, <laughs> one hit. Renar would swing at something, and at that turn it would be Thane, and then Thane would run around and like hit something twice, death, and then it hit another thing twice, death. So gonna... If they're... Oh, that's gonna go on my fucking tits real quick. The little triangle on Clifton mm -hmm. is whenever I equip and unequip the Fate Dealer's deck. I... Uh... 
I'm a little sus. Yes. She's not going to I'm peeling her pumpkin. Yeah. He's going to look at you. Well, uh... She's done what I asked, so I can't... can't argue. But I'm still yeah. waiting on word back. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. There it is. Until then, uh... Okay, and then... I really need to stop fucking with things when we do shit, I'll be honest with you. Okay, weird. Okay, fuck me. Anyway. Well, ah. Uh, no, he's waiting on word back from the dwarves. I promised you something, but since I'm waiting right now, huh? it does come to a question how much you are willing to do and what you're willing to take in return. <coughs> I mean, uh, you need something else to do. Uh, I like how he's not inquiring about saying talking now. Well, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Right, we're in a hurry. Right, we're kind of doing something really important. You know, we have an army with us for a reason. Mm -hmm. And what you have to be offering has to be worth the the time we're taking. Well, I do have some things. I've got to find the fucking page because one of these. I never go where is it? Uh, I do have a few things here. I've got a fucking control F. I of this beautiful little thing. He goes under and pulls out this black and red karambit looking knife. We've all seen a karambit. I mean, it's perfect for fat knife. Ooh, what's it do? It's um... It's very, very powerful. If you hit someone just right, they start to suffer from a severe case of necrosis. <coughs> Ooh. And the yeah. best part is he starts swinging it round in his finger. The best part. You can use it. Right out of the sheath. In fact, you could stab someone with it and throw it to your mate who could stab someone with it. And if you're both hit in the same place with the correct precision in just the right way when the stars align, necrosis will set in for both of you. It's just a very oh. tricky little dagger. That does sound interesting. Seems like a job for a monk. <laughs> Seems like a job for a rogue. You're a monk. Why would you need weapons? I... Because weapons are better than fists. You have a whip. I do. You, you have a dragon like this. Because you need a hand free for most of your monk abilities. So it would be either the whip or the... The whip or the dagger. I mean, I do enough damage with my uh, my thingy. That's only if I want to stun somebody that I take out my fists. Your elemental thing is unarmed strike only. You flurry I, and blows. I, 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 never, I never use that. You use <laughs> you it like five yeah. times in the past five sessions. You gotta be kidding me. You're talking about my elemental fist thing? Yeah. No, I, I haven't used that. Bro, you've been using that map, but alright. 
I I used it like before I got the whip, and that's pretty much it. You also need it for flurry of blows, as it's a uh, unarmed strike. Mm -hmm. Got you there, One bro. One sec. He's just saying, like, as you know, like I said, I like I, I, that is interesting. I like the sword I have. I do find some downsides to it, though. Oh, like I'm not. I'm not sure if when I did it, I just maybe did too much of it. We've all had a little problem every so often. But it's I feel okay. like shit right now. I feel like I need like I am severely limited for the next many of battles that I'm going into by using this weapon. By using what weapon? He would pull out the weapon that he got earlier from him, the um Oh the bloodshed. Yeah, the bloodshed, because it, it takes the hit dice. And you only regain half your hit dice on a long rest. I'm like, it's not My friend. My friend. Buddy old pal, old friend of mine. Have you ever heard of the concept of dual wielding? Dual wielding? About I have a shield. Or you could have two weapons. He would So a weird thing would happen where you see Exodus lifts up a finger and puts it to like the mask of his face the mask on his face but it's illusionary so it just sort of fades into his face as he bites on his finger and thinks twice the weapons means twice the killing you're a genius alternatively i've got this bad boy and he kind of pulls up this metal shield with an almost serrated edge to it the problem is, um, it does require a lot to use this, and I, I do mean a lot to use this. Are you gonna, is it like, when you say a lot to use this, is it gonna be like one of those like bitchy sentient weapons that, you know, I get with it, and then it's, you know, gonna be kind of toxic, and like really just like, you know, be a negative influence on life? Oh. Uh Mr. Shopkeeper, before we continue, do you do coin exchange? Because we just got a massive pile of different coins, and we would like, I personally would like to convert it into just all gold coins, easier for note keeping. Uh, do you do Yep. exchanges? Yep, always need change. Always need change. And she kind of just pulls out the uh, 1200 copper and 800 silver, 8000 silver. Uh, could you convert this to gold? That is 812. Uh, uh, how much platinum, uh, how much copper was it? 1200 copper, 800, 8000 silver. One, so eight, one, two, and then two zeros, or one, two, and three zeros? Do, 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 now you're confusing me. Uh, one, two, and two zeros. One, two, two zeros, and then 800 silver? Yeah, 8000 silver. 8000 silver. So that is 812 gold. Uh, 812 gold, yep. Right, cool. I'll adjust it in the party loot. Yep. As he takes it all. Oh, um. As the. I'm also. Yep. I'm also going to reach into the bag that we have and I'm going to pull out 12 gems worth something from Blue Bar Cave, page 126. <laughs> 127, 126. As he looks at them. Mm. Can I also, like, <clears throat> can I, like, me as a character would know gems are worth more versus you know with their color with their cut well not yeah with their cut 
and how clear they are, right? With me as a with me as a a fane, no bad. Mm. I'm assuming these aren't just rough gems, since all of this was like treasure and gold. I'm assuming these are cut gems, and they're nice. No, they are. They're fairly rough. Okay. They are fairly rough in that regard. As he surveys the gems, it's uh, it's about. 550 gold worth there. After polish, clean, and reshape. He's offering us 550. Yeah. Okay, we can do that. Yeah, let's get him. Uh, add uh, 550 to that gold. As he holds this shield in his hand, I'll do the map. he Take looks, away. looks at yourself, Exodus. Ah, uh, curiosity there. Are you feeling okay? He would look to him and like, do you mean like emotionally? Or? Ah, yeah, emotionally. Let's go with that. Okay. Well, how are we in a scale from one to ten? Mhm. Mm Could you tell me how you feel? Do you, you would... want to talk about it? He would hold up his fingers and he would start counting and he would sort of like he, he knows math right but he might be doing a bit or not but he's like counting on his finger he's like tens the high one right and yeah. then he's like yeah, okay and then yeah. watch these arcs his hand back as Exodus is counting, you can hear this cracking, you just watch as he launches the shield directly at Exodus as it does, you watch as it immediately hits off the wall, boom, flies by a cell phone and sticks directly into the wall. As he does, he raises his hand and the shield just boom, 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 and just appears back in his hand. Hashtag Captain America shield. So that's what that oh. does. Holy shit. I like how like, everybody that has encountered this shield that says the exact same fucking thing about it. I am Captain America. <laughs> how does that work? Does it just... Oh my god. Is it... Oh goodness. It's anybody who could use it, of course, you know. I uh, feel like throwing your defence at the enemy. One big huzzah, fuck you. Ooh. What, what does everyone else think on these things? I mean, you know, I can't use any of it. Apparently. What? <laughs> Um, this, the, these are things additional to what he's offering after completing his request, correct? These are rewards for doing the things. These are the items that you get slowly, one by one. Oh, okay. so those are what we get after completing his thing, okay. Well, obviously, you get your choice, you know? Could give you this, could give you this. I uh, could also give you the bow. You know, it's uh. The it's, bow. It's anybody's choice. You only get one, and you know, some of you have got some stuff, some of you have got others, and I'm more inclined to give things to the people that don't have. Charity starts at home. At home. I should write that down. Can I, can I put that on a pillow? You can frame it next to your live, laugh, love poster. Thank you. you. What'd you say? You owe me. What'd you say? What'd you say? Bitch. Oh, wow. Bitch. Yeah. Bitch. Yeah. Bitch. Yeah. Bitch. 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 Oh, we had a we had a long rest, so I can yes. like, re up on my dragon tattoo thing. Mm -hmm. mm. I'm trying to think of any of like these these items showcased on release theme of the blue now she. He didn't really like a melee brawler or anything. 
she 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 kind of watches from a little like a little step back and see. Like, hmm. Uh, or, uh, or, or stuff. One one last thing. I'm gonna reach in a bag that's majority coins at this point. Uh, pull out the chalice in a shape of a dragon. Bronze. Oh. You, didn't give, you didn't give us a page for that unless it was the same, same page. Okay. Yeah. One to six. I'm gonna say, uh, and I want to see if it's magical. Can I really roll Arcana on it? Yep. Any energy coming off of it? Mundane. Doesn't Mundane. Seem to come with anything. As he looks. That's a clear 900 on that. That's a, a clear what? Clear 900 gold. Aye. God. Look at that. You... Pre cataclysm. That's, that's a fucking relic. Oh. When's the last time you saw anyone who could take the visage of a dragon and sculpt it like that? That had to be a dragon of good that sat down and allowed someone to sculpt it. Mm. Mm. Uh, what did the party think? Take the 900, bid for more? No, no, no. This guy's been good to us. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna. I'm gonna. Yep, yep. We can do we, that. I, right. Do we? Do we also convert the uh, seventy-two platinum so we just have a one round number? Uh, if you wanna cut platinum, how much platinum was it? Seventy-two. 700, yep, seven hundred and twenty gold. Uh, yes. Yeah, throw in at your maximum number as well. Yeah. Alright, cool. Uh, we have almost have six thousand gold. Uh, Did you already uh, add nine hundred? Yes, I did. I did all the math. Okay. Luna, Luna like, 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 like she, she doesn't slip the money in her pocket, but like, kind of takes some of her own and adds it to the rest of the bag to make the nice round number. And she removes eighteen out of twenty-six. What is that? One, two, three. We have we have one thousand gold apiece. <laughs> yes, that's insane. Damn, and even one thousand gold for each of us. <laughs> yeah, Does that includes the players that aren't here. Yeah. Yes, there's there's six thousand oh. gold. We have six characters. Wait, I think Renard has more on his sheet. Yeah, Renard has like 700 gold, so <laughs> he's gonna come back to a nice one. I don't know, also has like, like 570. This band's coming back fucking shredded and cheddared. Yeah, Clifton has like 600 on him. I mean, we we could do a wealth distribution and just like <laughs> put all the money in one pile and then... I, 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 wouldn't, I wouldn't do that without their consent. Yes. Fucking like, communism. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> 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 oh my god. That is, it's your new character trait. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to be fair, yeah, no, that that does that does strike for my for my character. You'd be able to buy your plate armor with that. That's hilarious. If we oh, yeah, uh, come like fourteen hundred gold. If we had a distri distribution of wealth, Fane, after he has nothing in his pockets, is like, yeah, we should do a common distribution of wealth. I like that idea. Beat the shit out of Fane. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know what? Let me get one of them Arizona's, Arizona's a puffy. Go ahead. Well, yeah, how much? ADHD. I had to peel the pumpkin. ADHD. It, need, it needed to be peeled. No, it did not. It needed to be peeled. No, it yes, it did. Imagine not peeling your pumpkins. Imagine not peeling your pumpkins. Yeah, yeah. Still oh. peeling it. Oh, stop peeling, peeling too, by the way. Stop peeling my pumpkin, bro. Exodus. Yep. 
once more? Uh, uh, so I asked if I could add the thousand gold to my sheet, and also, so how much for the dagger? Uh, or is that for a mission? To, to v spread the... Yeah. Keep it in a pile in the middle. A dagger is a... It's a freebie if you do me a solid. What's the solid? Need you to clear out a small area for me. Another one? This one's more of a um, more of an issue for everyone who wanders the wastes, shall we say? Hmm. What would that be? There's a cave just up to the north, northeast. I'm probably looking about a two days journey. And it, there's been some reports I've heard of some horrible, horrible things. Some odd creature and some terrible terrible magics if someone would be ever so willing to go and clear it out and to check it out they'd be doing us the world a favour ooh you're speaking to me you had me at horrible the first horrible, not the other horrible. Love it. Yes, I, I'm in. I get to yes. do good and get paid for it. Let's do it. I've been told that this particular creature is a foul, huge, undead beast of. Claw and bone ripped fur. An exposed <coughs> rib cage. A voracious hunger. That sounds like a lot of trouble for just a day. <laughs> he just described half of the things that we fight. He decided. He he described a terrifying monster. I don't. I don't want to deal we with more of those than what I have to do. We always fight. I don't want to. It's our thing. I don't, I don't think I want to deal with it more than I have to, though. So I feel like if if like you wanted the dagger, and you know someone else was like, "Oh, you definitely try to talk someone into this." I feel like you're just doing this because I wanted the dagger. <laughs> if you get the dagger, we're giving Renard the shield. I think we only get the one item, but yeah, I don't want the uh -uh. shield. And we're I, taking I on an. We're taking on an additional request for him. The, uh, the, ma it was one magic item for the other one, and he was offering multiple, he said one or the other, and now he's giving us another request, and he's saying, you know, you can get the dagger as well. I think, I think I've understood the situation, right, Scottish? I'm giving you your choice here of reward. A, B, or C. I guarantee that... What's C? There was the bow, the dagger, or the shield. Oh, um, okay. You see, if you do maybe two or three things for me, and I'll be able, maybe I'll give you all three of these. However, I guarantee you that what's coming next, your final little foray for me, well, is it gonna be no. then? Yes. It could be your downfall, but you'd go out in a blaze of glory, at the very least. What do you say? Yeah, we can. Uh, we can do that. I'm so in. He said, um, "I think. I think Clifton wanted the bow." Yeah, but he ain't here right now, so like, you know. Oh, oh, also, also I'll let you know right now, the bow, is it, the bow can, has to be attuned to. As does the Fate Dealer's deck. 
Clifton so has used two. Clifton has used three of his attunable slots. Dancing long has sword, he? Dancing Long Sword, Wand of Lightning Bolts, Fate Dealer's Deck, three or three. Oh. The Wand of Lightning Bolt needed to be attuned to what? And uh, as someone who plays a cleric, I'd rather a higher spell save DC than a fucking bow and arrow. Mm-hmm. I mean so it could be redistributed. Yeah, it could be. It doesn't have a lot of damage out. Especially considering he can't fucking use them. Use what? Bows. Oh. Simple weapon, bow. flail, hand, crossbow, longsword, morning star, scimitar. So Luna bow? No. I, no I bow? have no. I do, I don't need a melee weapon or like martial weapons. I have a. Entire spell list, and uh, I can shape change. Luna's like, whole shit okay. is Luna looks at an, Luna looks at an animal and goes, "Ah, it's giving me vibes," and proceeds to turn oh. into that animal. No, oh, no, so... no, 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 no. jumps in, maul shit, dies, returns into an animal, maul shit again, but gets turned out of it, then backs the fuck off and starts spamming spells. So we really don't need the bow. No. Well, hold on though, right? Because he said after all of this, there's another mission. Mm-hmm. That's even more dangerous, which means that we might even get more stuff. No, we have three items he's offering. There's three missions. And then there's a final mission, of course, obviously. The big bad mission. The covert yeah. mission. The yeah. shit going down mission. As does things that have been going on and well I need to know who I can trust on these things what are you oh, doing at, what, am, what are you doing Luna I'm not an animal you can't turn into me silly <laughs> oh, I can but you don't know that yet <laughs> <laughs> at some point there's got to be two melanos and you never know which one is the real one because they both just have the same voice all of a sudden this is like the games, no. but unlimited games. Two Melanos, unlimited Melanos. No, the, the the worst the worst one was in the middle of Dungeon of the Mad Mage, where Jalen turns into Melano, and we're in the middle of combat, and I actively turn around and go, Melano, what are you doing? And, like, fucking... She's sitting there, and she's like, no, you're thinking of the wrong campaign. This is Mad Mage. She doesn't even realise her other token's sitting there. And Jalen's just like, who the fuck are you talking to? He's got no idea what's going on. I get no idea what's going on. The players get no idea what's going on. And then he's like, oh. Wow. Big brain. Um, yeah. Luna, Luna is, Luna is going to ask if, if he has anything a little bit more focused on, on magic than, than melee combat. And something to put on my fists to make me hit harder. Uh, no. <laughs> Which magic item should you have again? I don't know. It's like a D6. No, it's a D8. Because you took the fucking, what you call it? You what? took, you took no. the feet. You overruled that because, um, Brawler says strength. And I was like, can I use dex because blah, 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 martial arts? And you were like, nope, the feat says strength. And I was like, okay. So I don't use it anymore. Because the it's brawler feet. Yeah, it's counterproductive to use the brawler feet. Because I thought it would work in tandem with my martial arts. I'm looking for your feet right now. I'm not seeing it. Where the fuck? Unarmed, your fight is deal plus three damage of 1d6 plus your strength modifier on a hit. Yeah. Okay. That's 1d6 plus strength. So that's still a d6. As opposed to... Actually, at this point, it's a d6 as well. No, nah, it's um, it's a d6 plus strength. If right. I'm not... If I'm not wielding any weapons or holding a shield. Your, mar um, your martial arts die is also now a d6, though. Yeah, but... No, nah, the, the, the whole thing about unarmed fighting is not using a weapon and getting a d8. But, um, but, um, it was counterproductive because, um, 
my D6 plus dex is the same thing as, you know, a D8 plus nothing. So I kind of waited, I kind of wasted a, uh, a thing instead of just maybe just putting it into dex, two points into dex, or maybe like another feat. I can't, I can't really, I can't really use that. It's there for no reason. Fighting initiate, it's there for no reason. I'll do one d6 plus that mod to your thing then for your unarmed strikes. Make sure that they are right. One d6 plus three. Yeah, the math does work out. See, because I thought that unarmed fighting would work in tandem with my back martial at arts. The, back at the beginning. Back at the beginning, it certainly worked out better, but now it's great early game, not too good late game. No, it, it was for the late game. I would have the D8 at like level 11 or 12, but I wouldn't get that right now. Okay. That that would um that would work all the way up to like 11, 11 or 12, but you know. So I thought I could like multi class it to fighter. And not get all the way up there and monk, and I still be all right. But like I said, uh, um, fighting doesn't work in tandem with martial arts. <clears throat> they, they said since I took a feat, the feat overrules my martial arts. Hmm. Off this one, I'll add it back to your martial arts. I mean, you've still got the additional as well in there, which is decent though. So that means it would be a D8 plus dexterity. Because I'm saying the feet states it's it's um yeah. so the feet state and strength it, so the feet state and strength so like now I've upped it back to d6 plus strength a uh, d6 plus uh, dex however you still do have that additional part of that feet which is actually kind of useful as long as we remember it and it's if you're grappled now if you're grappled at the start of your turn you just deal one d4 bludgeoning damage to a creature. Okay. Like, uh. So, every two your turns, you can deal 1d4 bludgeoning damage to one creature grappled by you. Oh, so if, if, if you grapple something, you can just, like, you know, give it an additional d4. Then, knowing you, you'd probably punch it, blood wart tattoo, let it rot and die, and turn around to its mate and be like, you. Gotcha. D. Looks teasel. Rock off my fist right quick, see if it updated. Yeah, yeah. Your two hit has went to shit for some reason. My what? Your two hit, 1d20 plus 6, and it's just like rolling real low. Yeah. Z looks at you. You's, uh, you willing to do this one for us then? We can do that. Yeah. Let's do it. I guarantee that you'll thoroughly enjoy this one. Anyone have any questions? I, I yeah. earlier if he has anything for, like more magic focused. Uh, the um. You. Let me see if he has any interesting books over here that I might want. Let's see. Mm. Any, any nice, any nice tones. Maybe it's almost understanding. <laughs> I cannot, for the life of me, I know you gave me a few things, um, and just the life of me, I wrote them down, and my dumb ass has forgotten, because it's one of those things, up, 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 uh, isn't there not something that would give you a additional modifier to your spells. One second. 
Oh, that specifically gives you a plus like to your spell save and a spell attack? Yes. Well, in a weird twist of fate, he has one. Oh my god. <laughs> Let me double check if I'm if I'm right. Yeah, it's it's plus one or two, like a plus whatever for druids for spell save attack rolls. Spell uh, save and spell attack. Ooh. Wait, well, cast a spell that restores HP. You can roll a d4 and add that number rolled to the amount of hit points you're still providing. You are holding a sickle, mm. so it also heals a little bit more. Then it just so happens he has one of them, and he's all like, "Oh, look what I've got here." <laughs> uh. Again, you're like the first fucking druid I've ever had. <laughs> Learning. And how much would that set me back? <laughs> right, clue. Mm. I'll give you it for... 200 more for free if you do this thing for me your choice would you like to save some money oh, we could yeah we can do the mission bye uh, Jalen oh you had to leave yeah that whole I have the DMV thing which would have been nice to know before we started the session because then I just called off the session uh it's fine, I can play through the characters. It's just not fair. <laughs> it's just not fair. At, at, at not what fair. point does it become Warhammer 40k? I don't know. I wouldn't yeah. mind taking over, but yeah, if you don't want to continue with only two people. I mean, right now we're just shopping. Um, we've, we've only been playing for an hour. We usually go for about three. I know. That's the issue. We're not be honest. The creature that's coming up, you scared shit all over. Yeah. I'll give it to you guys now. Your choice, because there's been a lot of like just talk. We we can just end it here, pick it up again. I can even do like fucking later on this week. I'll be honest. Sorry about that, my uh, phone oh, died. Motherfucker, we thought you'd left. Nah. Well, I thought you'd left. Nobody believed me because, like, I am, um, you know. I got a gift I mean, from the silver What? I'm leaving soon, around, like, 3.30-ish, 3.40, so, like... Half an hour. Yeah, half an hour. Then, yeah. what we'll do, is we will say that you yeah. But So, at least that way we get some form of session, some good shit. Use. I was uh, looking at his books here. Take the so you need, yeah. Uh, so you need standard cookbooks, but cookbooks. Ugh. We'll say use. Take request as you do. Happily as Larry, because we're getting some form of session in here tonight with some. Oh, yeah. Before we look, what what level of is the mood sickle that he that he offered? Uncommon. That's a plus one, rare, plus two, um, very, very plus three. Plus one right now. One, what else did we have? We had a fancy. So there was, I'll, I'll say it now, there was a moon blade. Moon sickle, sorry. A boomerang shield is what it's actually called. And that um, dragon bow. What do you mean the dragon? I thought we were the dagger. And what's the dagger? Oh, yeah, and the, the dagger, it's called a baneful talon. Ooh, nice. I just made a, um, a page that has shop inventory in it so we can keep track of what he's offering. So we can have to go over it. I'm going to quickly jump to the toilet and then we will do some mad things. Here's what I'm going to ask. Um, I'm going to ask for a d20. As you leave. A two. Oh, I was oh. going to roll it. Why'd you do that? 
because I'm fast. Three. Don't worry, I'll just remove it. You rolled one. No, you rolled a two. It was pretty cool. I didn't roll shit. No, no, you already rolled it. Fuck. Yeah. E10. Now you removed it while the DM was gone, so it's gonna be awkward. Not gonna believe us. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not like we know what a two means, so we can't fudge it. Quick, roll a roll a bunch of d20s until you roll a two, and then remove all of them but the two. Sorry, I'm just rolling to hit. Apparently, it must be. It must. We must be equally balanced. We can't. We can't leave this place a mess. Just roll a two. Roll a two. Roll a fucking two, bro. Ah. That's a one. That's a one. That's a twenty. That's a twenty. Oh. 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 Guys, oh, I have oh. a wireless <laughs> fucking headset. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, Luna? Making such a mess of the chat? You better delete all those. I'm assuming uh, no one heard me shout roll a d10. No. But I'll roll a d10. Right. So I know we get a 2, and then I asked for a d10, which came from Luna. Okay. Oh. Motherfuck, I said I would do it! <laughs> I already clicked it off before. You piece of shit, I literally. <laughs> God damn. No, you should roll it. We just like, had this, I was like, oh, oh, I wanted to roll the d20. Oh, never mind. We're gonna. Let's get this session. Uh, Don't know what I'm gonna do. Yeah, let's see. Use. Uh, where the fuck is it now? I've gotta get my big map up. Haha. Uh -huh. Jesus fucking Christ, that's a bit away, isn't it? Yeah. And so, as it were, the wash is dry. You spend your first 30 fucking miles. You, you, yeah, you can do how many miles on a fast pace again? I mean, 15, 30. 30 miles on a fucking fast pace. Boom. What? That is faster than a Phantom Seed, by the way. We go burr. Which is a, a, because a you got a bin. Uh, on a fast pace here, 2 miles an hour, 50 miles per day. Uh, because of the boon, it doubles your speed. So you can travel fast for 30 miles. Just use walk through the waste, it's still cold, it's still wet. Surprisingly, again, use fate, nothing, nothing happens. It's too fucking cold here in the northern wastes. No, we can we can re-roll. We rolled a we rolled a, a seven. I, I I never rolled a five. What happened? Uh, to a seven? Oh now you're not about he's like Luna, I think you're scaring off all the animals. The animals are my friends, okay? Exactly, they don't want to kill us anymore. You're cramping our style. It's got you there. Hmm? <laughs> but, you enter. Your next day is you just rock all around. As weird as it is, on this particular time, you come to the area. Just off on the sides of this cave, the fog seems to pick up. Rather heavy and thick fog. As it does from the cave, you start to see all manner of dead body bones. You also hear this. Smash. Smash. You. I'm scared. You just know this sound. We should go. I do. Charge. Oh, so when you say a new day, do I get a long rest again? Yep. <clears throat> Sweet. Uh. What is the sound if I do know it? You recall hearing it from a little place you know as the Crane Walking Wreath. I got bad feelings about this, guys. We should go. I mean. We have had a lot of bad stuff happen, nobody really got hurt yet, so... What are you scared about? 
do I remember you where did. Walking Wreath is? That's the tower, right? That's where Renard Silent died. Tower? Where Renard? Yeah, yeah, that's the tower. See, I thought I just called it like the Tower of Silence in my mind. I don't know why. That's that's what it actually relates to. That's his name. Oh. Oh. So he looks to this, and he looks to them, and you see, as he smiles, but he seems to spend the effort as the the visage on his face, the the mask grows into a grin as he would start making his way towards this uh, potentially gray aligned enemy you hear the <sighs> you know rocks and pebbles and dashing and here is cold you're not too sure whether or not it's your breath that's lingering longer than it should, or if it's this fog that seems to grow thicker and thicker. Uh, <laughs> I need to know who's playing who right now. I'm playing Clifton. I'm playing Luna and Melano. I'm playing Exodus. And then I could also pick up uh, Renard if it would be... Uh, just to make things easier for you, DM. I will smash you a Renard right now as you enter into this cave area. You hear the noises growing. Hello? Uh, Tupper, you already have control, so you're good. Yep. Um, Clip hello? Steam, so, wait, 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 wait. Chef. So... Yeah. Clifton sees the thing. Does the thing see Clifton? Nope. It does not. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm down, Fane. Don't go that far up. Does that count as three fourths cover? That, sli that sliver of what I can see from what. Luna and Clifton, three fourths. Three fourths cover. Okay. Never mind. I'm just imagine them being like, hold on guys, hold on, let's get behind cover a little bit, see that thing, and then the, do they see me? And then Loon over here is like, hello? <laughs> oh yeah, I'm, hello. I'm shouting. Hello? Hear Fucking... And then I kind of whisper to Cliff, do we attack? I don't like this. Uh, what's uh, everybody's passive stealth out of curiosity? Uh, how do I calculate that? Uh, it's on your sheet at stealth. It's in the little bracket. Oh, oh that's... you're gonna love this. Oh one. my god, it's seven. Ah, what's that? Uh, Eighteen. For Thane, it's a thirteen. What's Clifton's specifically? Clifton specifically is a twelve, and I don't know if he gets if he's wearing like. Nah, it's fine. Passive uh, stealth. Passive stealth. So no active. You gonna hear the. The creature looks roll initiative. As Clifton sees the whole damn thing and it sees him, its passive perception is higher than his passive stealth. Oh, it's classing that as an effect. That's why it's classing the book as a fucking effect. Bullshit, dear. Listen. Hmm? Why, why do Clifton and Luna have the same initiative again? Uh, weird math. I'll, I'll give it to Clifton because he's the first to engage. So... Alright, so you, you're going to drop your initiative on that 1-3? Uh, no, uh, no, Luna drops it, like, basically to 7. To, to give Clifton because he's the first one to see it and we're tied perfectly, so that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, so I'll I'll just drop yeah. I'll just drop you to eight point one three instead. Yeah, 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 that's what I mean. Yeah. Perfect. And from here, uh, let's get some get some fucked good shit. I need to buy more music. Work harder, work harder. Work harder not faster, kids. Finn. You are up! You hear right. the creature. I'll give everybody a good idea of what we're dealing with because some can and some can't. Um, 
Remember Fluffy? Oh, it's a puppy. <laughs> this is a real puppy. It's a puppy. This is a real puppy. Just a puppy. Right there. Yep. And dun dun. Damage type. Um, it's it's just the cat of nine tails. Oh shit. Uh, uh dash. Uh, you could have just said slashing. <laughs> uh, but yeah, six, seven, eight. It's uh, fucking sixteen total damages you. What the? What the? You hear these yeah, I'm gonna step in right here. Yeah. Yar yar. Oh, and damage type? Uh, we'll do fire. See this thing melt. Fire. 16 plus 16. 5. It's 21. 28 total damage. Okay, and we're gonna, um. Uh, let's try a stunning strike. Because my DC is now like 15. Hello, Mekko. Good ghetto. Where's my features? Fails. Who? Hmm? Fails. Okay, gotcha. That's it. So he can uh, bring his attention toward me instead of the healer. Yeah. Then I'll move us over to our next combatant. Exodus. Uh, did I see which way Fane ran? Because I can't see the enemy. Yeah. Yeah. Fane ran past you, so. He ran past me upwards or past me downwards? Downwards. He's. Grabbing a hoard of his uh, Shakira's booty necklace. As he thinks the praise of uh, wealth and commerce. You hear a uh, sound in your ear. Whatever. Wherever. We're meant to be together. Oh, it didn't take it off my sheet. That's. I don't know why. Because it... it's in your spells, mate. Oh my god, I'm so a dummy dumb. Uh, let me roll that yeah. cast spell. Yeah. And then I would be zooming. I go, weep. You sold the the rock bangle, correct? Yes. Yeah. I just need to quickly remove a flesh stone from your sheet then. There we go. Uh, 25 here. You round the corner to see him. His name is Jimbo. Oh, Jimbo. So, and then this would put me at 50. Yep. And here I will cast uh, the Booming Blade. Uh, <coughs> attack. Uh, Has advantage. Uh, short sword. Uh, Misses. Uh, this is Roro Raggy. Uh, Roro. <laughs> Ten more feet of movement to put me at sixty, and then bonus action dash for another sixty to go. Uh, that puts me at one hundred five, and then fifteen more to put me up at. Uh, no, no, uh, yeah, to put me up at one twenty as he just completely zooms around in a circle. Does a drive by but misses. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's like, like, like a normal way. drive by then. <laughs> Melano. No. no. Wait, did the guy get skipped? He's stunned. Oh, even better. Uh huh. An undead feet. Stunned? Cringe. She has like. What, what do you get stunned by? Stunning what? strike. You said uh, you passed. No, I said he failed. Oh. Well, nice. Oh, no, that doesn't reach. I think we're gonna go with a with a fucking good old ball that is made out of fire. Ah, of course. I hope we don't hit friendly. Uh, oh, he does. He just completely failed. Yeah, my dog barking. Yeah, he does. He's stunned. <laughs> 
he can't make a dexterity save. He just feels that shit and stuff. You're gonna smell the charring of the corpse. He watches the fog grow thicker in that area as well. It's a bit foggy, a bit smoky, a bit smelly. The fog is unrelenting. Did anything else? Uh, Luna is gonna say, hmm, barbecue. Uh, and do, 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 I don't think I have a fun fun section, sure, nope. Nothing. Time for level 9 lightning bolt. What? What? You hurt me. I mean, you've only got, I, you've only got six. Mean, you only get six charges. Seven. Mm, six left here, from what I'm seeing. No, I completely recharged. You, it says seven for you. Yep. It says six, six, six seven. for you. Huh? It's been like three days. I think the thing which recharge. Um. Check. Uh. 1d6 plus 1. Okay, so you're rolling 7. Yeah, the this. whole one. Okay. So um, I have to roll a d20, and if it hits a 1, then 1 destroys. Let me, so, um, let me quickly do math. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. That's 14 d6. 14 d6? Is that. Okay, so... So 8d6, and then it's, it's an additional d6 per, per charge. Mm-hmm. So, um... 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So that's an extra 66. Yep. <coughs> to just roll 14d6 and do numbers. So you just want me to do 14d6? Slash r 14d6. No point in giving it a save, my guy. It's stunned. Yeah, that's why I did that. It's like offering a dead body CPR. Roll it. 37 Roll damage. 20. And the wand does not break. It lives yet again. Imagine rolling almost double the die and getting... 5. <laughs> did I announce your turn? Nope. Why not? Uh huh. Stunned is only for dex saves, right? And strength dex saves. and style, uh, strength. Okay, cool. Then I'm... Hmm. See, what would this. Uh, here. What oh. Uh, yeah. Alright, so but, 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 I'm, I'm quickly thinking about what the best course of action is here. I think I'm just gonna turn myself into another fucking polar bear. I. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna have to do the wild shaper again, because that's the best way. Uh. Do. We're gonna go for polar bear because the polar bear is such a fun little creature. Do, 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 do. Bop, bop, bop. I'm gonna re import it for a third time, I'm not sorry. And then we're gonna charge forward. How does it stunt work with hitting? Is it advantage? Hit advantage, okay, cool. And that is shift, so we're gonna bite it and claw it. Both hit for 18 damage. Cool, Leo. Uh, and that's about all I can do. Pass over Renard. Renard, in a much more straightforward and less nonsense uh, take that uh, exit the approach, he would charge towards the foe head on. Um. 25 feet and then 30 feet right here and then because he 
doesn't have enough movement, he will cast a spell. That spell being... Misty Step. Oh. One of his second level spells so that he could... Hold on. So that he could move... Uh, yep, cast spell. So that he can move 60 feet, or 30 feet to an occupied space. That so just, 30 feet... You can, just click, you can just click in the spot that you want to go to. Oh, shit, it, really? I can just... Yep. Oh, I like, oh, that's beautiful. I love that. Fuck roll 20. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's awesome. And so, he pulls out his sword, mid-pulling out, teleporting, and as he leases out in the, uh... The blade out, he swings it back, going to strike the the beast. Uh, let's see here. I don't have his um, what's it called? Uh, hot bar tooltips. I gotta. So, what what's his main weapon? The is it the Shermash longsword or the Sulkin? There, I think it's green. Uh, Shermash. Yeah, Shermash, yeah, that's the one he picked up yeah. recently. All right. Uh, Twenty-one for fifteen plus eighteen. Yeah, you can grab okay. it. Right, um, and then, not only that, you know I gotta smack it with a smite. Of course. Uh, and the smite will be of uh, his highest level, leaving him with one second level spell. The spell slot thing's being tricky. But, oh wait, uh, that and... How many spells did I cast this turn? Only the Misty Escape, right? Misty Step is a spell, but Smite is not a spell. You just use a spell oh, slot yeah. to do it, so you're no, fine. No, uh, spell slots just took one more away than ah. it should have, and I got confused. Um, I just gotta figure out... Uh, where was the Smite at again? Is it uh, under Smite, spells, right? Smite's in a spell book under first level spells. Ah, thank you, my good sir. Thank you. And I just gotta upcast it. It's at the bottom. Yep, Divine Smite. Second level, let's cast it. Second level, seven plus six for a total of roll another attack. Oh, another uh, just attack? Oh, yeah, yeah I have get two multi attack. Right. So, you know, let's see what the damage oh, I, we can do. I'm so glad. I for completely forgot that I get multi attack. Now, my character usually that one. Crit fish that shit if you want. Crit fish. So close. So close. <laughs> he, he doesn't have anything that lets him have any more. But either way, so, I'm going to smite him again. 15, 16, 17, 18, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 41, 43, 43 damage and counting. Is, are you counting the necrotic damage? Doesn't have. Nope. You said like, okay, good. You're checking. Like, it seems like something. Doing the first level thing. one. But another 13 damage. 43, 13, 43, 13, 56. Give us all the flavor, mate. <laughs> Renard. A man of many talents. And one of those talents just happened to be slaying undead. He rushes forward into battle with no regard for his well-being or perhaps he is just that confident as as his human limitations that mortal man a fighter may not be able to reach the foe he draws his blade channeling on the magic of his god imbued by him a chosen person one of maybe a handful in this world he teleports to his destined location, pulling the sword back, not once, but twice each blow, holy, channeling ancient magic or divine energy that hasn't been seen in, what, hundreds of years? Hey, that. Defeats an ancient foe, echoing of stories past of great heroes to fang, I mean, slaying ancient evils, a tale a flip note in our story. Yeah, as you fuck this shit up, you hear the absolute decimation, the noises, the 
creaks and cracks. These enter once more, looking around. The creature expiring in front of you. The fog still as thick as it was. It's, it's, it's funny. He, he wasn't able to move while we just beat on him. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that <laughs> was really fucking weak. I kind of feel bad. Is there another one? <laughs> we have a family. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, Luna like, like looks around, sniffs the air if she can get get a a, um, a smell of anything else undead in the area to see if there are more. Because no way that this thing has been an issue that hasn't been dealt with by a guy that is stacked with magic items at this point. It's because Fane's here. I just do. I just do that to stuff sometimes. Like the, we fought a boss a little while ago, and I think I was playing Revel, and I uh, Tasha's hideous laughter to him, and he just couldn't pass the check. <laughs> so he just beat on. He was Scottish was like this. Uh, this guy is an epic difficulty, and you know? we were like, okay, and we just killed him, and then the epic part came later. Oh yeah, uh, fucking dude with the hair. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, moment there. But yeah, you just look round. You sniff around. There is no other creature. Nothing else. The area filled with bones, decay, rot, destruction. But barring a thick, ever-present fog. I'm a, I'm a, nothing. Oh, I see, I see, I see. I'm a, I'm a cut him open with my dagger, see what he been eating on. Could I also make a religion check? Okay, four. Um, well, you know, the fog here, I'm not mm -hmm. sure if we've been traveling through fog like this before. I sort of thought that it was sort of a supernatural fog, and the beast from the gray is dead. Right, so it leads me to believe that maybe if this is like a thing to the gray, that whatever, that the, that this thing is more of a side effect that escaped, than the cause. Mm. Or if the you wanted to do an, a religion check for that, uh, give right, because the give me a gray is the, instead. Okay, that's fair. I think you cut open the beast as best you can cut open a beast that has an exposed rib cage and no internal organs to find um but well, no internal organs. Gotcha. Uh the fog is magic, definitely. That's about as much as you get. You can get that sort of arcane tingle from it. Mm, he like reaches in the air and not grabs some of the fog but sort of holds it, not holds it, but sort of cups it in his hand a bit as he breathes it in as if it was a whippet. <laughs> you breathe it in. See, you, you said whippet and it took me a minute to think what you meant because whippet's a type of dog and I'm like why is this man breathing dogs? <laughs> <laughs> Nitrous oxide. Is you yeah, take it in. It's acrid. And it it burns like cig like cigarette smoke, but it's as thick as cigar smoke. As it goes down and it definitely brings a tear to the eye. It's almost burnt. Let me, let me get out of here. He breathes it in and says, hold on, Fane. There's something... There's something going on here. The fog... <clears throat> it's magical to some degree. I can... smell it. Okay, I'm gonna take a tooth from this thing as proof of subjugation. <laughs> I mean, I think we That's should investigate the area just a little bit more while we're here. You can if you just wish. You. Just, just to see. Luna here, she's still in her polar bear form. She she's gonna use her her enhanced uh, nose to kind of like sniff around the area a little bit more, looking for anything that might stand out. I'm gonna go over here towards the wall where it looks to be like the fog is a little 
little less thick. He's like, I'm asthmatic. I can't stay in this stuff. <laughs> Did I for you? Roll, uh, roll investigation checks. Per perception is not going to give you much here as, as a burning acrid, but investigating for the source of it is what I'm going to get. What's going on here as well? Because uh, the thing is, uh, my polar bear has advantage on perception smell checks. It wouldn't be a perception thing, though. That's the thing. Like, could I uh, do my own search or help? Because I'm also yeah. Looking. Like, as as anyone that's looking. Yeah. I'm, I have a minus one to 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 perception or to investigation. I have good perception. Ah, I want to use my smell perception. Fifteen. Woo. Fifteen. Do you look round? You do find in this small scattering. Find some glass. Very out of place. He's gonna touch the glass. The second you touch it, the fog just gone. Not an illusion, this fog. It was there. And as you pick up this half smashed glass orb, um, I'm gonna ask you for an. I'm gonna ask you for a very specific, an Arcana check. Very, quite high DC. An Arcana check, quite high DC. Yeah. Gonna give him. I only have a plus one to Arcana, and I don't think any bonuses can be applied retroactively to this. This is one of those uh... things. So, I don't know who can, can stroll over and try to catch the guidance on you. It's just, I mean, like, no, no, because like, it, guidance isn't for saving throws for one and two. We didn't know. Uh, but Arca Arcana isn't really. a saving throw. Darling. Oh, it is? No, no. Yeah. <laughs> you can add because it's weird, right? <laughs> I, we don't know that this is magic when I pick this up. So well, just yeah, yeah, try being like she, casting she, guidance she, on me. She sees so her rather... stumbling around to like looking and Luna is very obvious, obviously sticking their nose in the air. To try to find something, so like she says, "Oh, hey, I can help with this," and and snaps guidance on you. I appreciate it. I won't accept it this time, but let's see it. A five. You know what? Roll, roll a d four. <laughs> you never know. I will use my inspiration on it. Hmm. You sure you don't want that d four? It's there. I'm sorry. I'll take the d four. I know my lesson now. Ah. Uh, this me. odd black orb you hold in your hand, it has an embossed design and little mm. pulpits in places, almost like a dimpled golf ball, but then with a design, but a bit as large as your hand. In fact, in fact, no, canonically. Canonically, this thing is, I believe it's two foot wide. Two foot wide? How big do you think my hands are? <laughs> Holy fuck. I believe canonically it's two foot wide. <laughs> I'm, I'm only just at this part in the book. I'll need to rewind it back a little bit, but it's, um, it's fairly big for what it is. It's just like a glass bowl or glass like orb that is cracked and smoke is pouring out of it. Yeah. Whilst, whilst your characters have no idea what it is, I think you as players will. I have no idea what this is. I it's thought I know orb. what it was. Is that a dragon ball? It's a dragon orb. Orb, dragon. Dragon. orb of dragon kind. You got one of these oh, set into Avernus as well. Oh my yeah. god, I thought this was something else. I thought this was like a fucking, like the, the ever-smoking bottle where you open it. <laughs> Isn't, that the thing that we use? Smoke? <laughs> Isn't that the thing where we use to talk to Tiamat? No. Yeah. You've got this after... No, you've got it before... you got it after yeah, Tiamat. you got it after... you got it after oh, you met with Tiamat's um, on yeah, Tiamat's... enclave, but you did not use it to commune with Tiamat. It was Archon that communicated with Tiamat. Actually, mm. I think even before... The, actually, no. Yeah, we got sent on the mission to get the Dragon Orb by the Enclave. No, 
right. Or, no, no, we actually had a, no, 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 I got the, it. We were looking for Titan's blood, and they gave us the dragon no. orb. What? Uh, you were looking for Titan's blood, mm -hmm. and there was a giant Titan sword that had something glinting on top of it, and someone flew up and found the dragon orb on top of it. Right, that's what I meant. Like, it wasn't... We just found another one. We found another one. Hell yeah. You broken. found a broken one. This is completely inert. The oh, oh, fog kinda. that you're finding, the fog that you're finding around is just a... I want to say coincidence, but more like a unplanned effect of the orb being shattered. Mm. Let's say, so, guys... Let's put some stucco in it. Let's say, guys, look at this, time. like... What? Check the time. It's almost 3 30. I'm well aware what time it is. <laughs> uh, That's so passive aggressive, dude. No, I'm like. <laughs> I no, not you, Hems. I'm well aware of the time. Oh, yeah, no. I'm just making sure. Because, like, you know. Yeah. <clears throat> well, you'd be like, well, this thing is. It's, it's a nice, like, talking piece, I think. Create smoke and shit. Nice for atmospheric conditions. If I really ever yeah. set the scene, I'll just set this down somewhere before I sneak into somewhere. Yes, that's exactly what we're gonna use this for. The guy, uh, the guy seems kind of interested in pre-class uh, cataclysm things. I say we try to. Tr yeah, but this could generate smoke. Okay. Okay, and. <laughs> like it's, it's not okay, that imagine cool. every imagine everywhere we go that just always no there's there's just a fog cloud and what? we can learn how to whistle too <laughs> i mean snap yeah. our fingers i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna get out of here this is making my asthma flare up <laughs> Smoke's gone, but all right, let's let's go. Tuck the tuck the orb away. You're the two foot orb. How do you tuck a two foot orb away? You can't. Um, you can carry it. <laughs> so <laughs> so it. so this is this is the thing that I have learned through doing all of my my studying into this land. Um, dragon orbs are sentient. One, and two, they can change size at will. Provided they are, you know, um, alive. Yeah. Like, uh, a dragon orb will only try to attune. So the dragon orb tries the attunement, which is why it requires the charisma check. The dragon orb will try to attune to someone it deems intelligent. And if it doesn't deem you intelligent, if you try to attune to it, it's just like, nah, fuck you, mate. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm, I, I did not know this was coming up. It's a happy fucking coincidence. It's so crazy that we almost missed this and I was like, what's the smoke machine going on here? <laughs> I'll be honest. I'll be honest. I can easily find you, Sora. That's so cool. Alright. As we're heading on out. Moving on up. This is our. Yeah, I have a sickle waiting for me. When did he mention? When did he mention a sickle? I thought this was. When I, I asked if he had any magic items for casters, that just so happened that he had a, uh, a moon sickle. I'm just checking. I, I, I don't want to. I don't want to send you off on something. Too bad. Is it next week that John's back? Possibly. I think so. I could be wrong, but that was when you said two weeks. That was, you know, I think two weeks ago today, so we should be back next week. Alright. Then, as you leave this particular area, we're doing the expedited thing, but I will feel really bad about it in about a year's time whenever I run this again, but until then, you know. There's always next time, kiddos. Uh, huh. Where is it? Calaman and the Northern Wastes? Nope. Or is it Calaman and the Northern Wastes? Because I've got two maps of this. But they are.
as yous head on back out into the fun and sun and gloom and doom of it, um, I'm going to ask, not for a D10, because that's absolutely pointless at this point here, uh, I'm going to ask for a D20. I roll it, I roll it, I roll it, I roll it, fuck you. Fuck you! <laughs> God damn it! I can't see because I have control over everyone's fucking characters. I have these stupid fucking... Ah! <laughs> ah! Murder! Death! I figured out how to close it again. God damn it. That's alright. Because, uh, uh... Technically speaking... Uh... Oh, it was Fane this time. Ah, that's good. Yeah. I, I didn't... As you... So take your time. Do all your stuff. Get another very easy long rest out of this one. Yeah, yeah. Literally, you just need to roll fucking 11 or higher, guys. Come on. Combat at 11 or higher. Can I, can I, wait, can we add a, a d4 to that, to that roll for fine? Ah, oh, we wish. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'll roll another. That's an 11! <laughs> get back to Hearts Hall. Another busy mid-morning afternoon. Exodus, you are met by your friend, the little dwarf that you gave the lance parts to, as he looks at you, yeah, leans in. We've got a small situation that I feel maybe you could, uh, you could enlighten us with it, pal. Yes. We've been taking your two, um, your two pieces to try and make a, a pike or halberd or particular type of lance with. Um, and comes to our attention you're trying to reforge a weapon of ancient class. There is only one oh. small problem with this. Legends yes. say it must be imbued by a god's power. And I see there is no gods here. No gods <laughs> amongst you. Yeah, maybe. Where, where is it? Where um, is it? Ch channeled of no. <laughs> oh, cleric, has this little, cleric has this little thing. Oh, he doesn't get it yet. Someone celestial. Oh no, divine intervention. Yeah, I think it's divine, but no. There's <laughs> <laughs> with this guy with him. He, he would, he would, you know, he would talk to him. And he would say, he would turn him and say, Oh, you need a god's, like, how much of a god's power? Any item blessed or touched by the gods, the more the merrier, the better, the more power we feel that we could imbue into this, to give it the power that was given to uh, the once great legends of yonder. Uh, he would pull out the dragon orb and says, well, this has dragons on it and it makes smoke. <laughs> Do you think? <laughs> Hold, he kind of holds it. This would be definitely useful to give us the... some magic. However, do you know the tale of how the dragon orbs came to be. Dragon orb? He blinks a few times. Dragon orbs? Is there a dragon in that? This is a, a, an orb of dragon kind. Did, did, are you not aware? No. Well, it's what's left of one. Uh, that's a, that's a fun one. However, these orbs, ancient yet fragile, each in the colours of chromatic dragons from yonder. Black, I do not believe is chromatic, but I could be wrong. Regardless, these orbs were created long ago in the age of dreams, before the Cataclysm, during the final desperate hours of the Third Dragon War. Wizards of all three colours, white, 
black, red, saw what would become of the world if Tychesus had taken hold, and as such met the Tower of High Sorcery in Palanthus, on a night where the moons were at their highest peak and greatest. They crafted these orbs with the assistance of God's magic and once they were created, each orb was given to one of the five towers of high sorcery between numerous races. They were passed round and lost to history and legend for some time. In more recent events, the Sylvanesti elves had their hands on a dragon orb that corrupted and twisted the beautiful lands of Sylvanesti into that which is now a horrible, thriving, rot wasteland. And some say that a green dragon has now taken up refuge in the capital city and has driven uh? the king of the Sylvanesti elves to madness. I didn't know this. Hey, wait a second. This orb is green. That's just the image from D and D Beyond. Oh, <laughs> <All right. You laughs> the orb know. is the orb is set here to be black, but because it's dull and lost all magic. So let me guess, right? To all right, let me let me guess. To repair this, we're gonna also need a god's power, correct? Any items deemed to have been touched by a god. The dragon orb is a nice bonus. We can certainly craft that in there, get the motifs and, you know, maybe make it cool as fuck. But... Oh shit. Items touched or forged or blessed by the gods is what is required to push this through. Alright, I'm gonna need to have a conversation with Bernard about this because uh came from both of us the pieces it was agreed that you know he would wield it uh but we each have and he would take off the uh the necklaces the he would show his necklace of shenene and he would say this was given to me directly by a god are we really about to this is the that's the episode type of power and that would be required. Renard has one as well, and if he's going to be the one wielding this weapon, I don't want to use my stuff for this. I feel that's a conversation to be had between you. I'll give you some time. However, if you're willing to part with the Dragon Orb, I can certainly start making the appropriate changes but I feel you are going to have to sit down and have a conversation with each other in regards to this alright um so the dragon orb you said would just make it cooler right just like it will definitely help with imbuing it on the power um, okay as long as the house with the power I will also hand it over a character I'm pretty sure a dragon lance is like Legendary. Uh, items, Dragon Lance. Uh, lance. Let's say Lance. Yeah, let's use the standard Lance. Motherfucker, no. Uh, dragon Lance. Item, Dragon Lance. And then let's use a Dragon Lance, Dragon Lance. Yeah, um. So out of character, a dragon lance is a plus three, so three magic items make it a plus three. It's cool math when you think about it. What does it what does it do? Additional damage to dragons. Oh, that seems like <laughs> not a lot for a legendary weapon. Well it's a plus three plus an additional amount to uh, dragons. So like That's one D twelve reach um, and then you've got your additional damage to dragons, plus something else. Yeah, you know what, that is fair, I'm just, whenever I think of 
whenever I think of a ma legendary yeah. magic item, I think of something like Black Razor. Oh, the, this is... By the way. This is legendary, uh, legendary, legendary, like it is uh, right up there. Oh yeah, no, but it is, it is really cool and like obviously we see the use for it because we'll only give up a lot. Uh, I'm glad you're giving us the opportunity to potentially make this though. Very cool to get an item that we normally wouldn't be able to get. You talking to me in character or me as a DM? I don't have to, uh, <laughs> have to be gone. That's right. I'll call session here anyway because there now needs to be a discussion between everyone with godly items on who, yeah. if anyone, is sacrificing anything. Yeah? Okay. Can I go to the shop to pick up my shickle? I'll add that to your sheet. Just bim bim ba. Can I go to the shop to pick up my dagger? Hey! I'll add, Sorry, the, I'll add the sickle to Ruby. For you, however, for, for the other stuff, I've got it written down here. Um, we'll run that next week. Um, yeah, also, Fane was bullshitting, by the way. That wasn't me. I have the dagger. Fane was bullshitting. Fane, shut the fuck up. Also, I, I, didn't, I didn't say anything. Also, like, this is a this is a nice out of character one for, for me. Not sure how it is. Um, next week, I have choose. Next week, I have choose the off work. So, um,. Like, I think I finish at like six. You know, eight hour session, everybody. Joe Pat, this is a Honestly, fuck it, send it. You do. Oh, we we done that once, it was horrible. Tipler went to the doctors and came back and everything. That was me who left and came back? Yeah. Fuck. You, you like went, like, we were in the Dungeon of the Dead 3, you left to go to the doctors, came back, and we were still in the fucking dungeon. <laughs> I'm the dungeon. I forget. 